Sabina Selimovska. Uh, she is an education specialist working at RAA Berlin, focusing on children's rights and anti discrimination and education for Roma children. She is dedicated to promoting children's rights and fighting against discrimination in schools and other educational institutions with a specialist emphasis on supporting Roma children. Sabina has been teaching at universities in Berlin and Potsdam and has gained extensive professional experience in Europe, the USA, the Middle East and Asia. She has been committed to intercultural education, diversity, multilingualism and human rights since 2000. Sabina, wow, what a CV you have. Uh, which visions for, of Roma for Europe do you have? Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for the introductions, dear Simonita. Um, wow, I have big vision <laughs> for our Roma children um, in Europe and everywhere actually in the world. Um, when I think of vision, I can dream a bit and uh, I would like to not read anymore the sentences, the very famous sentences uh, of describing Roma people generally and uh, as a as nation to, that lives in the margins of the society, they have poor social conditions, living conditions, and so on and so forth. Uh, they are socially excluded, uh, not uh, enough uh, uh, um, uh, present edu education, uh, and so on and so forth. I would like to change that um, statement where I read it everywhere uh, in all documents uh, to change it towards a nice statement or argument, I would say, which would uh, sound like Roma are included in the society, are um, enjoying their rights, they are, have equal rights, and um, the, they are part of our societies as everybody else. So, especially when I think about the children um, at schools, the situation is it's not like that. that. That's why I said I can dream more about uh, my vision, what I would like to be. Um, the situations of Roma children in the schools, especially, I can say from my experience um, working in Germany, in Berlin, it's completely different. Many children do um, have bad experiences at schools. Many children do not have access at all to the schools. Somebody might think, wow, this is nice, they're in Germany, um, they have actually access to, uh, to education and there are many children in school, but I always say, uh, for me, the right to education of a child is not fulfilled by that when a child is sitting in a classroom only. It has to feel comfortable in the environment where it is in order to be able to learn uh, and develop uh, itself, in order to develop its talents, to develop its uh, opportunities and uh, to be taken in account their wishes and uh, ideas, to be taken especially in account, to be led to participate and to create their education as well. This is only a wish, or only my wish, I would say. Uh, very often we face the problem especially of migrant children and Roma children who are seeking asylum uh, in Germany, that um, especially in the last years, uh, we, the problem with not having school places for the children, especially for Roma children from Moldavia. Moldavia, there are children sitting from six months to one year in the refugee camps, and they don't get school places where, in the same time, some others do. So, uh, I cannot see that anything differently than discrimination or racism, I would say. Uh, there is a saying that um, in more than three months, 
children from Moldavia would be deported back to their country. Actually, what is happening and has happened actually, even during the COVID-19, many Roma family were expelled and deported, So, which is giving also the idea there is no need to give an access to education, to provide a place in the schools for the children who are not going to be here anyhow. So the right to education is definitely violated. In order, in other case, it is also violated a lot of children's violation, uh, children rights. Uh, when it comes to the children's right to uh, housing, the children's right to um, um, to health. So there are many, many, um, many children rights in a circle, let's say, connected that it, it can't be broken, it, it, that chain can be broken anyway to, to promote this equality for Roma children as anybody, everybody else. We usually uh, say, yeah, or I usually at work, I face also the situation where, where I'm usually questioned why Roma children, why especially all this for Roma children, why they should be treated specially differently than others. We have here equal treatment for everybody. When I say if everybody would be treated equally, then we wouldn't have to fight for equality of Roma people and Roma children at school. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there is a lot to do, I think, in this field and with this topic, education and children.